The rectifiers we've studied thus far work fine for power supplies and other applications where the peak voltage to be rectified far exceeds the diode junction voltage. But those circuits are inadequate for signals with peak values on the order of or less than the junction voltage, where the voltage of the signal isn't strong enough to push the diode into the conduction region. This circuit here, known as the super diode, satisfies that um, or addresses that issue. It's basically a buffering amplifier or a voltage follower amplifier where the feedback loop contains a diode. Thus, when the output voltage is positive, meaning that the input voltage is positive, the diode is conducting and we've got negative feedback. When the input voltage is negative, so that the output voltage is negative, the diode is not conducting. You'll also notice that the output voltage is taken at the cathode of the diode, and this R then represents the load resistance. This configuration has an interesting characteristic to it. You'll notice on the uh, transfer function here for V in and V out, the transfer function goes just about through the origin. What's happening here? Well, when the diode is not conducting, there is no negative feedback. As the input voltage goes to a positive voltage, the output, because there's no negative feedback initially, the output goes to V out is equal to A V zero times V in, where A V zero is the open loop gain of the amplifier, which is typically a very large number. So the input voltage needs to only be, dividing both sides by A V zero, we get then that V in needs to only be equal to V out over A V zero. And in our case, if this diode requires a seven tenths of a volt drop, then this would be 0.7 over A V zero. So V in needs to be a, a very, realistically, a very small number before this diode begins to conduct. It's, and there is no delay, there's no, uh, we don't see that seven tenths of a volt weight on the input before the diode starts to conduct. And that again is because of the open loop gain of the amplifier driving the output well beyond the seven tenths of a volt um, almost right at t equals zero or just very, very shortly after the transition on the, uh, on the input. So this super diode works for signals that we want to rectify that have relatively small input voltages, including amplitudes significantly less than seven tenths of a volt. The voltage to open this circuit or the, the voltage to get the diode to conduct comes from the operational amplifier, again, amplifying the input, a very small input, by the large uh, open loop gain of the amplifier.